Okay, so today we're going to talk about rotting zucchini. You see this right here? Sorry, the sun is shining right now. You see that right there? It's kind of rotting in the back here. Okay, I'll put it down here. It would probably be easy to see. Um, see that? It's kind of rotting. Can't see that either. Wow. Anyway, sorry. Okay, here we go. See that right there? It's kind of mushy and rotting. And you see how nice these are? I'll show you why they all nice over there too. All these, they are all nice. If you noticed, look at the surroundings. Why is that? It's because we actually place ground cover. See that? You pan it, you can see it all the way through. Okay? And that's why the zucchini, it is so nice. And because the number one thing that you have to remember, wind. Wind has to go through that. And because there's no nothing here, the wind is able to go through that and everything is dry. Now, I'm going to come to a section that this is where I got this from. Okay? And I'm going to show you an example of why your, your zucchinis or summer squash or whatever it is, doesn't matter. Because you can see how we plant them. It does not matter. The matter is if it's on ground covers or you can lay grass like cut grass so that's like ground cover right there so it doesn't come to like this see it all that okay take a look I'm gonna pan it out just a little bit so you can see how we did it Okay, that's how we did it. Those are some stuff we're experimenting. But see, we have not found one rotting so far because of it. And here's another thing. The bees are able to pollinate them as well because they're able to fly through those so they can pollinate. So far, what I found, ground covers is really important if you can do this or you can use grass like over there, like we did. Okay, now I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go to where I found this one. And I'll show you another location we've been experimenting. Now this is where the location is and this is where we were we were experimenting. That's where I grabbed that from over here, okay? And because no air can go through here, I find rotting uh, zucchinis and also too they actually have less. Uh-huh. Because the bees cannot go over there to pollinate. And look. And look what happened. Rotting. Even rotting leaves. Right there. That's rotting leaves. There's another one over here. Okay. And I find another one down here. So you will find a bunch of them. And yep. You will find another plant, you won't get a lot of pollination this way. Uh-huh. And this, there's another one rotting right there, right on top of my finger. Okay. There's another one rotting. There's a bunch of little, little leaves rotting because there's not enough air flow through here. And look at here. You will never find that over there where I showed you earlier because there's no air going through. Look. See that? 
It kills a bunch of them. And that's what I've learned about this. Airflow for zucchinis. Oh, let me show you something else. We just found, look at this one. All rotted up. You will never find that over there. Look, the root got rotted. And now, all these things are gone. And look, I see few females. And now, this one's gone. Look at this one. There's a bunch of females in here. I can see. And see what happened? The whole bunch is rotting. That's a good example right there. This piece. Okay. So, and here's why. We're, we're cleaning though. Look. Because there's so much of them that air wasn't able to flow through. And that's how your zucchini rots. Okay. You don't want that. So the solution for this, before I go, the solution for this, one, you can plant it like we did with ground covers, or two, you have to weed to, to get the air flow through here. And then any, any, I said any, that is rotting like this, just take it and just break it off. Don't even worry about it, okay? Because we want these to be nice and clear and clean. Okay, other than that, that's about it on this video, and I'll see you in the next video, okay?